Welcome to the Bogue and Helmscope Beer Review Show. I'm Bogue. And I'm Helmscope. Today we're doing a special cold weather edition of the Ooh. show in my storage shed. <laughs> it's pretty uh, sweet in here. Out behind my house. <laughs> uh, we're checking out the Firestarter IPA. And From it is Bonfire Brewing Company. Bonfire Brewing Company in Eagle, Colorado. So we're scoping this puppy out tonight. Bogue, I don't know if you happen to notice or not, but this is a taller cylinder of, <laughs> of alcohol. I did notice. Yes. Thanks. It's, uh, it's got a, um, this is, happens to be a 16 fluid ounce vessel. Nice. Otherwise um, known as a tall boy. <laughs> I, li I like tall boys. Mm. They're, they're delicious uh, because there's more beer in them. <laughs> I like that. No doubt, man. Uh, so the, this IPA um, is their flagship brew. I guess uh, they started in around 2009. Yeah, 2009, uh, 2010. Concocting delicious beverages. Yeah, I think they got actually started from a home brewing kit. Mm. And they just took off and started uh, yeah. give, giving their beers to their friends and family. And, uh, you know, yep. it we'll says, see what it's all about. It tonight. says the fire starter was born in a garage and refined in a much larger garage before making it into the friendly confines of this can. And you know what? We're in a shed. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet in here. There's uh, yeah. some... It's, it smells a little bit musty. A little musty. Yeah. Not, but, not too bad. Uh, but had some water damage. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it works, not though. Not too bad. Uh, so what do you say we crack these yeah. bad boys open? Let's crack them open and see what the, see what the score is. See what, the, see what it settles out as. They, and it looks like a pale ale. Uh, I mean an IPA. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's a nice uh, kind of a... a Copperish color. Yeah, it's got um, a lot of nice little bubbles. It's, uh, yeah, look at a that. Bit of a haziness. I think to the it. haze might be because of the uh, temperature in here right now, um, uh, or not. I Maybe. think there's some sediment in there. It looks pretty tasty yeah, though. Yeah, it does. How does it smell? It's got a little, uh, right off the bat a little. Got some some hoppiness to it. Got a little hoppiness. Yeah, that's that must be the the falconers uh hops yeah there's Falconer's cascade light yeah, there's cascade hops in here too yeah. so i'm hoping to get a little bit of both of those do you ever wonder what life would have been like had you chosen to be a falconer falconry yeah um no i don't i i would have to imagine that it's probably it would probably be quite different than what my life it's a is now. solitary life <laughs> just you and a bird a falcon, a ah, bird of prey. Yeah, but just think, man, you could maybe like get invited to uh, minor league hockey games. Yeah, right. Or Let the bird fly around. Yeah, exactly. All right, Boga, shall we uh, see what this is all about yeah. on the palette? Yeah, scope it. Cheers. Mmm, it's got quite a bit of bitterness to it. Bitter, but not bad. Hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, got it's, a a strong finish. It does. It's a it's a pretty robust beverage. Yeah, it is. Um, I like it. It's balanced. There's some malt in there um, yep. to kind of even out the, the the dueling hops. It is an India Pale Ale after all. So it's what's the have ABV? Six point six. Six point six on this puppy. Right on. Six point six can also be nine point nine if you flipped it upside down. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah! Amazing, <laughs> totally mind blowing. That is awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. Great analogy. Uh, not analogy, more like a summarization of a numeral's char character. In essence, <laughs> what it would be like upside down, <laughs> almost like if you said something backwards. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty exactly. Like, well, like we Farfik Nugent backwards. <laughs> mm. I'm not even going to try that. New <laughs> Yeah. You know, um, what you can't see in this spectacular setting is a small space heater that's underneath this table. And I have to tell you, it's not really doing much. No, nope, no, nope, not pretty, doing a whole pretty lot. Pretty chilly in here. Um, the outside um, conditions, there's snow on the ground. Uh, it's probably yeah. around 25 degrees, 20 degrees, something yeah. like that tonight. Pretty balmy. Um, but kind of like a summer's breeze. A summer, a like summer's a tropical. Eve. I was thinking more tropical. Yeah. Well, 
I, I could go there with you, man, if you really wanted me to. <laughs> go to the tropical mindset. Tropical mindset. Because yeah. just all you have to do is think about what life would be like um, somewhere else. Like mm. North Pole, for example, where it's like negative 30 degrees. Pretty harsh up there. Yeah. Um, You're probably not spending a whole lot of time outdoors. If, if you, out of doors. <laughs> if you are out of doors, um, walking side by each, um, mm. perhaps going out and... Um, making sure that the engine block on your big rig is not totally frozen. Mm. Well, Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, you're going to have to plug that puppy in. Definitely plug it in. Yeah. Um, plug it up in the ass. <laughs> Make sure you do that. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> yeah, uh, the plugging in the engine block, that yeah, is. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so Eagle, Colorado yeah, is uh, kind of a cool little place. It's between Vail and uh, Grand Junction on I-70. And I uh, don't know too much about it. I did um, a little research, found out that... Um, in 1940, it had uh, you know running water. Um, they really had come a long way. They were running regular electricity. Wow. They had a 1940. Yeah, they had huh? a modest fire department uh, back back in 1940, and like 500 and uh, 500 uh, residents oh, there. Wow, man, yeah, that's, awesome. the, that's the last update that was available. <laughs> so I guess you're going to have to go uh, into the Eagle um, County Registrar. Yeah. <laughs> Or or the, <laughs> or or the or going to the microfiche room. Oh yeah, and, uh, I look love up microfiche. Look look up some uh, old data. I've always wanted to somehow smuggle some microfiche into yeah. Canada. Uh, we should try it. Sometime. Yeah, we should just see what if you could get away with it. Right. I mean, you never even know until driving you, like driving yeah. across the border. Are you taking anything across the border, sir? No, I'm not. You're not smuggling anything today. I am not. Just a little bit of uh, history. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Helmscope, what yeah, would man. you give this brewski on a scale of one to five? Uh, and since we're outside, imagine yourself um, drinking a warm mm. goblet of vomit. Oh. That would be number one. Um, or number <sighs> five, which is totally awesome. Wow. What would you rank uh, this? The warm goblet of vomit does not sound good and this beer i can tell you after a few swigs off of it is definitely far from it um i'm gonna have to come in at a 4.2 hmm. uh the 4.2 hmm. because of the uh the sharpness that i'm okay. getting from it gotcha. um the uh the full body that i feel this beverage deserves uh nice yeah so 4.2 man all right added together that's six whoa and add another decimal point and another six, and that's the ABV, man. <laughs> yeah. Right on, what? man. So 4.2. I'm going to give mine a 4.7. Um, kind of a high score. But yeah, it is. You must really like this beer. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I really like it a lot, but I do like hoppy beers. And yeah. That is something that I must admit. What, you always seem to tie your score to... Yeah, John uh, Lynch, 47, oh. baby. Oh, right on. Uh, What's John Lynch really known for? Hitting hard. A hard hitter? Yeah, really hard. Like, knocking the crap out of somebody. Yeah, laying the lumber. Laying it on down. Kind of an old throwback style football player, man. Just laying it on down. That was, you know, he played before there was really a lot of rules around. Like, <laughs> yeah, just, just freaking flying like, towards somebody like a missile. A missile projectile. Just a projectile. <laughs> just lighting someone up. I watched um, a show last night on Prime Time. Neon Dion Sanders. Oh. Uh, in his his uh, history, his career in the NFL, he had right pretty on. pretty stout career. Um, Dion Sandcastle. <laughs> no. Dion Sanders. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, played with the Atlanta Falcons. Played yeah. with the San Francisco 49ers for one year. They won the Super Bowl that year. Nice. 1994. Timing. And then the following year, 1995, he signed with the Dallas. Cowboys and they won the Super Bowl what? that year. He was the first uh, defensive back who was a game-changing player and who was going to, if you signed him, 
you are going to win a championship. What's with all this data overload on Deion Sanders? I don't know. I couldn't control it. I'm sorry, man. It was. It must be the Eagle Brewing Company's special ingredients uh, <laughs> that that made that come out. Yeah, man. I guess. And did you did you mention he played uh, baseball for the Atlanta Braves? He did play baseball, and there was a he w- actually went to the World Series with the Atlanta Braves. Mm. Came up short though, didn't he? he? Did he did? But that he was a hell of a baseball player yeah, too. I guess so. Uh, cool, man. Well, um, let's let's wrap it up. What do you say? Psst. Pap. The pink. We're gonna wrap up this episode of the Bogan Ham Scope Beer Review. This very special edition where we are recording live from Bogue's tool shed where there are a very a vast array of items in here um, not to mention uh, a cold crisp atmosphere which is you know it's kind of nice yeah and you know what this beer it's called the fire starter in the pale ale yeah um, I, I, you know my fire is kind of getting started here <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, all right. It might, this might this might turn into another a beverage. Yeah. Um, what do good. you say we end the show by chugging this down? All right. <laughs> so all right. I just top mine off. Are you oh, gonna right do on. That too? I'll, I'll top mine off, and then we'll uh, we'll just chug it down to end the show. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Yeah. Take it easy, guys. Ah.